hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel you're welcome and i want so and i also want to appreciate lover of good things lover of good news thank you guys for always dropping by on my channel to watch videos that gladdens your heart so guys if you're new to my channel you're welcome please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button for me and the bell beside it as you watch so that whenever i upload new videos you will be notified thank you guys and remain blessed olori naomi has spoken up again on the reason why she is giving her marriage a second chance so if you have not relaxed please take a chair relax and listen to the reasons she gave why um that she's um the reasons she pointed out on why on why she's giving her marriage a second chance yes just like everything we do in life everything has uh, there's there's a a second chance is not a bad thing in whatever we do in life it is a second chance that will determine if something is going to move forward or backward but we should not use first experience to judge or to use first experience to say that mm, I cannot continue again. You have to give a second chance. Even a third a a, um, a a chance is even allowed if possible. So Queen Naomi says she's giving her marriage to the owner of Ife a second chance, even with all the whole marriage, all the whole wives, yeah, um, something. And she also made it clear that only of Ife marrying more wives is not her problem. That she, at a point, advised him to marry more wives if it is what gladdens his heart. Instead of having baby mamas or, you know, um, being referred to as a king that cannot stay with one woman or being insulted by a lot of people, that he is a king. He needs to be going out with power and authority. He needs to be respected, not be referred to as a womanizer or something of such. So she talks about her going back to the, um, her going back to Oni of Ife and giving her marriage a second chance is something that she had really talked, um, thought about. And she has come to a conclusion that she wants to give her marriage a second chance so that in future it will be said, or there will be a record that she tried at some point that she tried at some point and it is going to be a very beautiful thing for her to do and also that because of she has a child in that in this union so she is going to do everything to make sure that her child is not being called names when he grows up hmm. words of a wise of a wise woman so because this whole thing when parents separates and they don't give their their marriage a second chance they don't think about the future of the child that they have i'm not saying that because of you have a child in a in a in a, 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 a um a marriage you should um die if the if the, the marriage is taking your life no i'm only saying that sometimes we fight but i'm not saying physical fighting don't mistake me Sometimes we fight for what we love and what, and what we want. But if you fight and it is not coming, you just have to stay on your own. Because we all need to be alive to train those children that we brought into this life. Because a dead person cannot train a child. So, but in Queen Naomi's case, there, was, there is no record of domestic violence. She's not been beaten, but she is emotionally drained. I think that is why she wants to give her marriage a second chance because she must have gotten advices that other marriages are worse. That uh, a lot of people, their, their marriage is even nothing to write home about. But they still stayed and they fought. A lot of people have died while fighting. While a lot of people have fought and they won. So human being differs dif uh, uh, human being with their different strengths and their different techniques so i support her going back to fight for her marriage because she already has a child in that marriage if by any other chance now other wives of the owner of ife give birth in the palace and they are living in the palace if prince suddenly kawo grows up he will be seen as a stranger in his father's house which is not good 
So if, if she's planning her life, she should also plan the life of the little boy. Because if she had not given birth in, in that marriage, I don't see any reason for her. I, I, I don't even think she would even want to go back. Because even the former queen, because of she did not have a child for the honor of Ife, she easily moved on. But Queen Naomi's case is different because she has something that is setting her back. She has something that is bringing her back to the palace, which is her son. Because if other children grow up in the, in the family, because the wives of the owner of Ife, they have taken it upon themselves that they are into competition. They are competing oh. for um, owner of Ife's love. They are competing for visibility. So they are not going to back down easily. And even if, and they want to have children in the palace so that their stand will be guaranteed. So if they have a child for the owner of Ife, and, they are, and the children are living in the palace, they are being recognized by the people of Ileife and by everyone. Prince Tadenika will be re recognized as an history, like, oh, your mother was once married to the king, but she left. He will not be giving that much relevance. He will not be recognized fully in his father's house, even though he is the first son. So it is better she, she thinks of the future of this boy. I'm not asking her to go back to the, to the palace and become his wife. But I'm only asking, I'm only saying that she should draw closer to this boy. I mean, she should draw this, this boy closer to his father. Even if um, a man is useless or a man is a fool, okay? Any child that can be able to boast with his father's name will be respected. What am I saying? Even if a man is useless, but he still has a name and his child will not be referred to as a bastard in a society, it is, what, it, it is much better than people that don't even know their own father and mother. So she should give her child that, that, um, that, that liberty to belong in his father's house so that when he grows up, he will not be referred to as a stranger in his father's house. So I think that is reason why, um, that is what she talked about, why she's giving her marriage a second chance. And everything needs to be given a second chance if that thing is not something that is life-threatening. So, and a lot of people applauded her and said she was doing the right thing. So after the second chance, if she's not still happy, she can, she can go for the third chance. If she's not still happy, then it is her choice. Nobody told her to marry Oni of Ife, and nobody would tell her how to live her, her life with the king. So they can do whatever they want. It is nobody's business. They are both adults. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button for me. I will see you guys on my next video. Until then, bye-bye.